anyway, yeah, so Chase tried to murder me yesterday with fitness. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been going over to Chase's place mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. for a garage session nice. on Saturdays pretty regularly. Yep. CF Croft Fit. And uh, how's that been going for us, Chase? You know, poorly. Poorly. <laughs> it's fun, but it's poor. Mm. It's poor fun. Uh, you know, this week was deload week at CrossFit Affiliate CrossFit, the garage gym. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I think I'm more effed up this week than I have. And I, I don't know. That man. was a garbage deload workout. Yeah. So every week, every week we're like, this is going to be easier than the yeah week every week is last week was awful guys that was an accident mm-hmm. we didn't mean for it to be that hard let's let's we're going to be a little bit easier this time yeah like mm-hmm. i eyeball the workout and like that's probably 15 mm-hmm. minutes between the three of us mm-hmm. and it'll be like 22 minutes and this week i was like that's probably about 18 minutes mm-hmm. and then it was 30 plus minutes. <laughs> and it it sucked front to back so yeah. what would we start with it, it was, was like, 150 calorie Teams of three. It was a team of three. Myself, you, and Linda. So yeah, we started nice. with 150 calorie row, and then it was like 30 hang squat cleans. 60. 60 hang squat cleans. At 135 and 95. 30 box jump overs. Okay. 60 mm-hmm. shoulder to overhead. Mm-hmm. At 135. At mm-hmm. 135, 95. And then 30, 30 burpees. Bar facing, facing burpees. burpees. Mm-hmm. And then 150 wall ball. So Karen. Between three In the people, middle of the workout. People. Yep. Okay. And then mm-hmm. the same thing, but on the way back up. Oh, so one oh. of those. But yeah, yeah. With, with inverted movements. So the things that you did 60 of before, you do 30 of the next time. So instead of doing... So then it's like 30 hang squat cleans mm-hmm. and 60, 60 box jump, box jump overs, 30, 30 shoulder, shoulder overhead, overhead, 60 burpees. Gotcha. And then we ran... How? What's that distance? It's like 362 meters. So we ran, we ran a half mile afterwards. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a, that's a full full plate. That's about, a big plate. Yeah. So you thought how long was the prediction originally it was going to be like eighteen minutes? Apparently, yeah, I thought it was going to be like a lot of stuff. Minutes. I almost wonder if I did it by myself, how much quicker it, be. it would have been much quicker, <laughs> probably, because it'd be less of me trying not to vomit in the corner. It was ba- it was bad for everybody. So I know I looked right right before we started the wall balls, and that's why I knew that yeah. I lost Armin. Yes. All those numbers were too big. Because I was walking around the I was like ready to walk into the house and just leave them. <laughs> it's like, this is not going to work out like right. House. Into this his is, house, not my own this house. This is not about me giving up on a workout. This is about you not admitting that you made a mistake in the program. <laughs> and you just Accurate. go inside. I yeah. was legit. I'm like, okay, so the one, like the thing that I've sort of promised myself, you don't know this, but you yeah. you, you do now. The thing I've sort of promised myself going to Chase's house to work out is that like, I'm not going to complain until after the workout's <laughs> over. Like I'm, I'm not going to say anything mm-hmm. while the workout's going on because I'm, I'm a big complainer generally speaking. And you know what? I'm not going to subject his space to my bullshit. Are you allowed to sigh aggressively? Though? There was a lot of <laughs> spitting and sighing. I'll tell you that. A lot uh, of unnecessary <laughs> spitting. So I like when we started the wall ball and I started to feel like I was about to vomit. I was like, say something, dude. Like tell him you're quitting. Just tell them to scale the reps, and he and Linda can finish the workout. And then this the isn't other, that important, Armin. The other part of me was like, "Don't be a bitch. Yeah, don't don't make them don't make them understand mm. your weakness." And yes. little do I know, is Chase is probably watching me and going like, "That little bitch is thinking about quitting right now." Yes. <laughs> no, I I can always tell when he's going through it because normally Armin stays really mm. close to the implement, right? Like he coaches that way. You know, during a workout, he's like, mm-hmm. hey, don't don't walk away from it if you're taking a break. <laughs> that way you can pick it up and go go faster. Mm-hmm. And uh, anytime I see him just like randomly straggle into our neighbor's yard yeah. and like bend over, I'm like, oh, <laughs> he's done. <laughs> he's done. I guess I should just go ahead and keep moving. Yeah. Because yeah. he's not going to pick this. Yeah, there was up. there was a point. Uh, I believe it was right after we finished the wall ball where I was so far away. Like mm-hmm. I had wandered into the neighbor's yard to get away from the to get away from the workout. <laughs> and, to make, and to make a statement about how not engaged you I, I were. I wandered God, so far fresh away. Air over here. I was just like, I if I'm going to vomit, I'm going to vomit on someone else's grass. <laughs> 
And <laughs> that that hour rotation that had started 20 minutes prior uh-huh. got altered because I wasn't there to be there for my work. It was fine. <laughs> the only thing that wasn't fine about that scenario is that we were going into the, the cleans mm-hmm. and he like moved the barbell with him. Like he accidentally tapped it. So it starts rolling away. <laughs> mm-hmm. He knocked over a shaker, stops. Picks up the shaker, repositions it so it's in the way of the barbell How and the dare mat you. that it needs to be on. So now I have to pick it up and physically put it back. Mm-hmm. It just like created a lot of hurdles on yeah, top yeah. of having I to do I added an extra yeah, deadlift yeah. for Chase, guys. I apologize. I, I can see a wonderful comedy skit erupting from doing a workout in the garage there. You have a barbell, just starts rolling down the driveway, rolling down the street. You oh, no. Keystone oh. cops after it, just running. Go, go oh, no. There's it, a yeah. little girl on a tricycle. It's going to clothesline her. <laughs> you just stop it. You know, all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. It'd be good. Oh, my God. That reminds me. We we uh, we snatch on Fridays, and normally we're, we're working out pretty late, so it's like 7.30 eight o'clock and um it was like a friday we were going after like a max effort hang snatch like a hang Mm -hmm. a uh triple hang snatch like how many reps can you do for Mm -hmm. three and uh i stuck the first two and there's a family i see them out of the corner of my eye there's a whole family walking across (laughs) walking across the road and it's like heavy it's like i think i was doing like 250 it's heavy for me it's so you're earning yourself a reputation in the neighborhood is what you're saying yeah and i and i go to stick it and I don't stick it. No. Right? So the weight like slams down really unexpectedly. I'd say and the, seven feet wide is just enough to take out a whole family all at <laughs> once. Plus, did you have some rattly little metal plates oh, on yeah. there? So there was, was metal plates loud. on there. It's and perfect. actually just all fives from, from <laughs> collar no. to collar. <laughs> No, even worse, just random different sizes so they don't quite fit together in different brands so they all clatter. There's just, a lot of space in there that shouldn't be. Just so they make it a lot of noise and sparks so it looks more terrifying for the children that's, in the yeah, last That's what I was hoping life. for. Yeah. You know, that's what I was hoping for. But I got the I got the word, like, you know, ideally I let go of that weight after missing it and it takes out that whole family. I don't exactly. have to talk to them. What actually happens is I miss the rep, it slams down, and the father of the family goes, you all right over there? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like sitting on my ass. <laughs> like I just got beat uh, by this barbell. Like, yeah, that's how it's, it's how it's supposed to go like that. That's what yeah. that lift looks like. Yep, yep, yep. You, you stand two of them up and then you, you kneel underneath the last Love one. to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got to say, though, the, the weekend, like those Saturday sessions at Chase's make me feel both very, very fit mm-hmm. and also very unfit. Yes. It's surprising. I imagine there's a big there's a big boost afterwards and you're mm-hmm. you're eating a big breakfast. You're eating eggs. You're eating sausage, all that kind of stuff. And you're feeling good. And this is what I have experienced lately. And Cliff and I have been talking about this. I went on a big bike ride lately. Cliff's been doing a little bit of weight lifting. I forgot that exercising makes food taste better. When you don't exercise for a while, you're like, what was the point of food? Then you exercise again. You start eating stuff, and it all tastes rad again. Have you noticed this, Armin? Oh, Has yeah. anyone noticed this? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, Ch- Chase has not noticed it because he's never not worked out. never not worked out. He doesn't know any alternative. Yeah, he yeah. knows no other way. Yeah. Yeah. If, you know, listen, it was either it was either we do that workout or we are going to do the trail run event from the CrossFit Games. That's a good point. And I was going to have the twist in there as well. I had already mm-hmm. arranged with my homie that lives in the next neighborhood over, and he was going to send us back right when I was like, hey, this is the finish line, guys. Finish line. Yeah. He was going to send us back. Yeah, I always feel good. I mean, I always feel good after because it's the hardest workout I'll do mm-hmm. all week. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And then I feel really bad immediately after because Chase does like two workouts after we're done with the hardest workout of my week. Just to sort of rich froning you psychologically. <laughs> I yeah. generally feel pretty terrible yeah. as well, but different reasons. Chase, yeah, Chase is the rich froning to my, I don't know, Dan Bailey. Something. To his, uh, he's just, which he's just one was psychologically the lawyer? burying me. James Hobart. James Hobart. There just burying me psychologically on every workout. That's right. Yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> Yeah, what it's like what sort of I understand it in that scenario. They're like those are the best in the world. They're like kind of all similar. But you're like way better than I am at CrossFit. Yeah. And that that is it's has been much, the case for it's years. It's like if Rich would like work out with his neighbor. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't do CrossFit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's like he, if he picked one of his random members at Mayhem, he was like, "Come on by. I'm going to fucking bury you every day." How's that how's that sound? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty I like much. It. Let's do more of it. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see even more clippy goodness, hit one of the links on the screen right now. And if you want to see the video that that clip just originated from, 
Link is in the description below. Hope you guys check some more stuff out while you're here. Enjoy. I will see you very, very soon. Take care.